Hey everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'll be showing you how I put together four different sizes of paper flowers included in a bundle that I had designed. In the description box below, you'll find a link to this bundle as well as timestamps for this video if you would like to skip around. We have a 3-4 to four inch mini flower, a 5-6 to six inch small flower, a 9-10 to 10 inch medium flower, and a 10-12 to 12 inch large flower. For the paper, I used light to medium cardstock in both 8.5 by 11 and 12 by 12 sizes. Other basic materials I use include a glue gun, which I like to place a little piece of paper underneath to catch any drips, a paper curler or bone folder tool, or even a pen or glue stick would work just as great. Alright, let's get started with a small paper flower. Hello everyone, we are in Cricut Design Space now. When you upload the SVG, it comes with one cut of each petal design. So it comes with a bud center and a petal. And what I did is make copies of them all. I'm going to be referring to my little sheet over here. So for the small one, I had made copies of two bud centers and 20 petals. I'm going to click make it. And we are going to be using 8.5 by 11 cardstock. Paper. So I am changing the size right over here. Automatically puts it on four sheets of paper, but we could totally make it fit on three sheets. I am going to click move object and move it over to this first sheet. I'm going to have to arrange it so it fits perfectly. Then I'm going to do the same to these last two pieces. All right, so we have all the petals needed for the small paper flower onto three sheets of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. So we're going to go ahead and cut it and then we can go ahead and put it together. Again, for the small flower, we have two bud centers and 20 petals. I am using my pen and my fingers to curl the petal ends at an angle and to curl the bud centers inwards. You can also stack and curl several petals at a time if you'd like. I am folding each petal side of the bud center and creasing it. Continue this process for all petal sides of the second bud center. Now I am adding glue to opposite ends of the two petals across from each other. I am bringing them together and overlapping them like so. For the next two petals, I will be overlapping them the same way. I added glue to the opposite ends, this could be on the inside or outside opposite ends of the petals, it doesn't really matter, and brought them together. Flipping the bud center over, I added glue and placed it on the center of the second bud center. Since the previous petals came horizontally, I am bringing these petals vertically. This time, I am adding glue to the insides of both petals and attaching them to the center. Instead of overlapping, I am leaving a little gap. Continue this to the last two petals of the bud center. Next, let's work with layer one. Flipping the bud over, I am adding a petal that lines up with the bottom center and lines up with the edge of the bud. To glue it down, I added a dot of glue to the bottom tab area. I did the same with the second petal. Adding a small line of glue to both sides, I then bent and pushed the petal towards the bud. I held it until the glue set. Repeat to the second petal. Flipping my flower over, I will be adding the next two petals in the alternate direction, which is vertically. Each layer consists of four petals, and I will always be working with two petals at a time. I did the same by adding lines of glue to each petal, then bending and pushing the petal to the center. We are now on layer two. As I add more petals, I begin to place them further away from the bottom center and I begin to leave a little space from the edge where the petal curves out. The gluing process is the same, adding glue and using my fingers to set the petals in place.
Before we know it, we're on layer three. This layer works a little differently. Instead of adding petals in an alternating direction like a plus sign, we will be adding them diagonally across like an X sign. The same applies here when I am leaving a little space, but I am also looking at the top of the petal to see if it lines up with the petals next to it. This will create balance throughout the flower. After adding small lines of glue, I place my index finger on top and use my thumb and the rest of my fingers to help push the petal up. I repeated the same to the other petal. I flipped it back over and we are adding the next two petals diagonally again to complete the X formation of this layer. I added a dot of glue to the bottom tab, gave a little space at the edge, and made sure the top of the petal lines up with the other petals. I then added glue to the sides and did the same bending and pushing motion. Next we have layer 4. We will be doing the same X formation. After adding a dot of glue to the bottom tab of the petal, I flipped it over to make sure the petal is a smidge taller than the petal directly in front of it. This will help the flower fan out nicely. As you can see, as the layers progress, I am gluing the petals down further away from the center. When I like the placement, I add glue to the sides and bend it to the flower. I also like to use my fingers to pinch it in place until the glue sets. Repeat this process to the last two petals of this layer 4. And lastly, we have layer 5. I am adding the petals one at a time for this final layer, but still following the X formation. I added a dot of glue, placed it down, and before adding glue to the sides, I like to make sure it lines up with the adjacent petals. The first petal is done, and now comes the second, third, and fourth petal. When completing the final layer of petals, think of it like completing a circle. We don't want our flowers to be too boxy, so take your time and think of a circular flower. I added the last petals and we are now done with the small paper flower. To summarize, I wanted to share some quick notes. When starting your paper flower, remember to do the bud center first. Next comes layers 1 and 2, which will always be in an alternating plus formation. Layers 3 and up are added diagonally and can create an X formation. Each layer consists of 4 petals and I always work with 2 petals at a time. As the layers progress and when the flower is flipped over, you'll notice that you are gluing the petals farther away from the center. This will ensure that the petals will fan out gradually and beautifully. You can add another final layer of petals if you'd like. More petals equals more fullness and more width to the flower. But make sure to keep a circle shape in mind so that your flower doesn't come out too boxy. Also, many of you have already seen my large or mini paper flower tutorials and you've probably noticed that the technique and tutorial is basically the same. So this same tutorial can be applied to all sizes of paper flowers. The only difference is that the large flower doesn't have a bud center, so instead we are creating that with the small petal. And the medium large flowers have two sized petals, a smaller and a larger one to help build out the shape of the flower. So basically all of my paper flower tutorials can be used for any size and can be used for all designs of paper flowers. Anyways, tutorials, materials, and all the SVG templates will all be linked down below. For for the remainder of this video, I'll be popping in to show you how I uploaded each SVG onto Cricut Design Space, but other than that, I am so confident that you'll get this and you'll create such beautiful paper flowers, so good luck! Okay, so we have the medium paper flower right now, and what it comes with is one bud center, one smaller petal, and one medium sized petal. I had already made the copies and changed them all to one color so that they could fit onto the sheets easily and automatically. So 
Here we have two centers, eight small petals over here, and 12 medium-sized petals. So let's go ahead and make it. I will be cutting it on 12 by 12 cardstock paper. So it has already done that. And I really can't move around the petals so much. So I'm just gonna leave it and cut it on four sheets of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and then we can go ahead and put it together. This 
Alrighty, we have the mini paper flower, which many of you should be familiar with. Uh, what it comes with is a bud center cut, a circle base cut, and a petal cut. So I went ahead and made the copies and changed it all to one color already. And here we have two centers, 16 petals, and one circle base, which I should mention that the circle base is really optional. And as you make larger flowers, um, you don't really need to make the circle base. It's just something I included for this particular template. Go ahead and press make it. If you are using 12 by 12 cardstock, it fits perfectly on one sheet, but I am using eight and a half by 11, and it fits perfectly on two sheets. I tried to make it fit on one, but that's not really possible. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it, cut it, and get ready to put it together. From pressure, babe You don't know true love Till your heart breaks You don't know true love Till your heart breaks You don't know true love Until your heart breaks Take my hand and Hold it tight Look at the paintings I'll be your guide Don't stop looking in my eyes Are you cold? Do you want to see?
have the petals for the large paper flower which should also be familiar to some of you guys. So when I first uploaded it the SVG includes a cut of each size petal. So we had a cut of the small, medium, and large size petals. I went ahead and used this duplicate button to make copies and make eight small petals, eight medium petals, and 12 larger petals. And I'm gonna drag and select all of it and change it to 
any color actually i'll just do gray and this will ensure that cricut automatically puts them all on the same sheet so i'm going to click make it Ooh, it is a big project <laughs> so as you can see i am going to be cutting them on 12 by 12 cardstock paper and although it says 15 sheets um we could totally fit it on 14 sheets and you could do so by clicking the three dots up here and pressing move object and moving it to the next available sheet that you think that it could fit on so as i can see right here i'm going to fit it onto this sheet so i'm going to rotate it and then i'm going to continue doing that with this petal right here All right, so as you can see, I was able to narrow it down and instead of having 15 sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock, I am able to cut the petals on 12 sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. And of course, if you have any scrap paper lying around, I suggest you definitely use that. 